Okay, this how-to video is going to go through the Altium translator um, that was added to the Cadence PCB tools. So available under the, the import menu, translators, Altium PCB, we get kind of this Altium trans translator option. Um, there's a really useful help button that will run through a PDF of some prerequisites. Um, so this is obviously the basics. You're going to translate an Altium PCB into a PCB editor design. Some of the prerequisites are that the design must be saved as a, a an Altium PCB ASCII file, which you can do inside Altium from the file Save As, and then select the, the PCB ASCII file. Um, this is key for the translator to work. There's also an option to kind of create individual footprints or symbol definitions. Um, so if you've modified um, instance specific changes in, in Altium, you need to make sure that um, you would then get an individual footprint for an 0805. So if you've made some manual modifications to a, an 0805 inside the Altium tools, this would then generate an individual PCB footprint for all that kind of functionality. So what we'll do is we'll browse for that ASCII document. So I've got a, a translated PCB.doc. So that's the Altium ASCII file. Um, I'm going to create all the individual parts or symbols and we'll click on translate. So once the translation is complete, we can obviously zoom in, we can see our PCB footprints, our copper tracks, copper shapes, silk screen, etc. Um, so there are a couple of um, checks that we can run. If we go to the tools menu, there's something called derived connectivity. So um, sometimes with PCB editor, you have to make sure that the, the track terminates on the center of the pad so we can, and, and, and out here it doesn't need that. So what we can do is we can uh, just run through a derived connectivity to, to convert those connections if, if required. Um, I'd also recommend running a check, a database check to just check the, the integrity of the database so we can check both options and click on check just to make sure we're all good. Once that's done, there's your translated design.